Hello, welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I am your host, Ilham Ahmadov. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Supreme Command-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Ilham Aliyev, viewed the conditions created at one of the commando military units of the Ministry of Defense and presented the battle flag to the military unit. President Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces Ilham Aliyev was reported about the preparations for a ceremony to present the battle flag to the military unit. The memories of great leader Haydar Aliyev and Azerbaijani martyrs who had sacrificed their lives for the country's territorial integrity were honored by observing a minute of silence. The national anthem of the Republic of Azerbaijan was played. The head of state addressed the event and congratulated the personnel of the Armed Forces with the upcoming day of the Armed Forces. Salam asker. Saying that the opening of another commander unit is a very significant event, the head of state added that the number of commanders is increasing day by day, and more units are to be opened in the future, which will continue to increase our combat capabilities. President Ilham Aliyev underlined the professionalism and heroism of the special forces and a special role they played in implementing a number of military operations during the Karabakh war. Touching on the process of army building, the head of state said that the Azerbaijani army today is even stronger than the Azerbaijani army that showed heroism and professionalism during the war. Noting that successful economic policy gave the opportunity to allocate sufficient state funds for army building, the head of state recalled that as soon as the additional funds were received, we allocated a large amount to increase the budget and identified two main directions there. First, the restoration of Karabakh and eastern Zangezur, and second, the strengthening of our military potential. Saying that any provocation against Azerbaijan does not go unanswered, President Ilham Aliyev emphasized today that Azerbaijan is one of the countries that determines its own destiny. Our country does not and will not depend on anyone. It speaks its word openly and conducts an independent policy and shapes up agenda in the region after the Second Karabakh War. The head of state said that the creation of a border crossing point on the Armenia-Azerbaijan border in the direction of Lachin two months ago was the indicator of our strong political will and noted that today we have further consolidated our glorious victory on the political and diplomatic level. Let me say again that we took revenge on the battlefield. At the same time, we should never forget the Armenian atrocities, said the head of state and added that the conclusion of the peace negotiations with Armenia today is necessary both for us and even more for Armenia, and dwelled on the conditions of signing the peace treaty. At the same time, one of our preconditions is the opening of the Zangezur corridor. The other condition is that the armed units of the Armenian army should be withdrawn from the Karabakh region, accentuated President Ilham Aliyev, and added that we had favorable positions along the border with Armenia. Touching on the large-scale improvement and restoration works in Karabakh and eastern Zangezur and the return of former IDPs to their native lands, the head of state underlined that the nationwide leader Haydar Aliyev played a special role in the development of Azerbaijani army. Then the presentation on handing over the battle flag to the commander military unit was read out. The victorious commander-in-chief presented the battle flag to the commander of the military unit. Following the commander oath-taking ceremony, the personnel marched in front of the podium with the battle flag under the accompaniment of the solemn military march. Weapons and ammunition belonging to the Armenian military forces were found at the abandoned positions in Khojavent. Three assault rivals, one grenade launcher, one pistol, 882 bullets of various calibers and other ammunitions were taken by the employees of Khojavent District Police Department and handed over to the relevant authorities. International conference on the topic of business and transparency in the context of human rights took place in Baku. The participants of the event noted that the decree on ensuring the rights and freedoms of people and citizens, the state program and Azerbaijan's accession to the international treaties set tasks for state structures to comply with obligations in the field of human rights. It was noted that over the last decades, the impact of business on the realization of human rights and the issue of liability of commercial organizations for the violation of these rights was extensively researched by the UN. Scientific and analytical work is also being carried out in our country to monitor the current situation in the field of business and human rights identify and eliminate flaws, and study international experience. It was emphasized that responsible businesses should set as a major factor anti-corruption standards as well as the fight against corruption. Armenians not only destroyed and turned our villages and cities into ruins, but annihilated the fertile layer of our lands. 
there is much work to be done to make this land suitable for agricultural work. Recultivation work is envisaged in this regard. Moreover, it is necessary to conduct a soil and geobotanical research of the fields, develop digital cadastral maintenance of quantitative and qualitative soil indicators. The coordinates of the settlements, agricultural lands, forests and other lands that were under the occupation and destroyed in the course of 30 years are determined. So far, field measurements have been carried out in Zengilango, Batli, Kedbecer, Jabrail, Lachan and Fizoli regions in total in an area of 536,810 hectares. Currently, this work is being carried out in Agdam. Field measurements are carried out with modern devices. All existing properties are also registered. The State Service on Property Issues under the Minister of Economy simultaneously conducts electronic cadastral registration of quantitative and qualitative indicators of land and is also engaged in land cadastral and land management work such as valuation and economic appraisal. Thus, the composition of the land resources of the region will be determined in accordance with their volume assignment and legal regime. The fertile a layer of plants destroyed during the occupation will be restored and returned to agricultural circulation and electronic cadastral registration for a quantitative and qualitative indicators of land will allow the formation of a unified state real estate cadaster and more efficient use of land. As a result of the research, accurate information will be obtained on the damage caused to the land found of Azerbaijan. You can get in touch with us by contacting Astave Khabar's hotline number 051-511-1956, through which you can report events you come across of, as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.